Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my page, Money Making Juggernaut. I'm your host, Eric Richardson. Today, we're going to discuss all the methods of contacting leads and surplus funds. That's right, guys. There's other ways that you can contact individuals besides cold calling. Before we get into that, make sure you guys hit the like, hit the subscribe button. You guys know I'm coming out with content weekly just to give you guys tips and tricks on how you guys can dominate this industry. All right, guys. So as we know, cold calling is the tradition for this business. We are doing research, looking for the individuals, and we have to call a lot of numbers. And I'm pretty sure if you guys have actually done this business, you've ran into the issue of dialing and getting incorrect phone numbers. If this is an issue that you have, don't be worried, okay? Don't let this defer you from actually dominating in this industry because there's other ways that you can actually contact them. But for starters, when you think of the fundamentals, you always want to have the cold calling, okay? So if you are getting inaccurate numbers, you can try other skip tracing sites that can possibly get you better leads, okay? When it comes to skip tracing, there is True People Search, there's Been Verified, there's IDI Core, there's Google. There's so many different ways that you can skip trace. You're always gonna get different phone numbers, but you're never going to 100% get somebody's accurate phone number. We are in the business of being essentially private investigators we have to do further research. We do have to see what their correct number is. So do not get discouraged, make those dials and understand that this is a numbers game. The more dials we make, the more opportunities that we have because you never know. There's some instances where you skip trace somebody and the first number that you contact is actually them. So don't let that defer you, but that is the fundamentals. That is one way that we can contact individuals. The next way is gonna be SMS campaign. So instead of dialing all these numbers, you can also incorporate an automated SMS system. So with this, you can plug in all the phone numbers into pretty much a batch SMS campaign. And what I like to do with the SMS campaign is keeping it very simple. I just say, hello, is this, boom, their first name. Hello, is this John? And most SMS providers that do batch uploading, they'll give you a bracket where you can put in their first name so it can take their name from their contact lead and it can auto populate this. When you do this, you're gonna have individuals that are gonna respond no, if they respond no, and you say, hello, is this John, for example, they say no, you know it's not them. If they say yes, okay, now it's game time, you need to call them and now explain your business. If you get somebody saying, who is this or who's asking, that's also, an individual, most likely that's them. Okay, if I received a text message and somebody said, hello, is this Eric? I'm gonna say, who is this? You know, before I completely say, yes, I'm Eric. So that's another person that you need to dial, dial, dial until they get on the line and you can convert them um, to sending over proof. Now, besides cold calling, SMS campaign, you can also do email blasts, okay? So when you're doing skip tracing, most of these websites do provide an email, okay? If you know an individual's name, most likely they've inputted their email address somewhere online. You can get their email, you can do an email campaign, okay? You're gonna be explaining you know, your business, your services, how they're entitled to funds, and then that can be followed up with a proof email, showing them proof that they're actually entitled to these funds. So email blast is not very effective because essentially when you do skip trace, you're gonna get so many different emails and you don't know what's accurate, but this can be a very um, low cost way of contacting leads. The next way guys, which is very, very, very effective is sending mailers, okay? I love sending mailers, mainly because when you're receiving inbound calls, it's now a warm lead. There's no icebreaker or anything like that. You have an individual who has read your letter and believe that they actually can you know, use your services and now you can go ahead and convert them. Now, when it comes to mailers, of course, when you're skip tracing, just like getting multiple phone numbers, you're gonna get multiple addresses. So you're gonna be sending out mailers to all the addresses that you see. You also want to send mailers out to relatives. Now, when you send the mailers out to relatives, your letter is gonna be a little bit different. And if you do not know how to mail to them, make sure you guys get the course and contact me. We'll do a full mailing uh, webinar and I'll explain to you guys how I use my mailer which is very, very effective because I break down, I give the state statute that shows that they're entitled to these funds. I say how we work directly with the county, 
But most importantly, I have a QR code that is scannable. So when a lead gets my mailer, they scan the QR code and then they see my business. They see that it's real. They see my company. They see my face. They see everybody that I've helped. They see real checks. So now this is definitely a deal breaker. So mailers are very effective. So I definitely recommend doing that. If you're somebody who is afraid of making those outbound calls, send mailers, you'll get inbound calls. Another thing is you can you can um, place signs in the road. So similar to the people who have signs that say we buy houses, you can put a sign in the road that says, was your property recently foreclosed? You might be entitled to some funds. Call me, boom, phone number. Simple as that. Obviously this is gonna have to be an accounting that you can get their leads, get information, things like that. Let's say you live in New Jersey and you want to have signs up in Florida or Georgia, you can simply go online, you can go on Fiverr, you can go on Upwork, you can find somebody who will actually post those signs in that city, in that county for you. Give your company's name, now you'll be getting inbound calls. But these are the methods of contacting individuals and I wanted to let you guys know that cold calling is not the only way. It is the the backbone of this business it is the fundamental part of this business because you're going to have to communicate with them on the phone but now you guys know other ways to contact them if you haven't gotten the course yet make sure you guys check the description sign up use code take action you'll receive a hundred dollars off also if you're having an issue finding leads make sure you guys use the code prestige 30 off for xseliteecom excess elite is a great website that will help you guys with research give you all the links to the county's database that'll show you where leads are, how to do due diligence, how to do further research, how to get information on it and contact the county as well. So if you guys are out there struggling, Excess Elite has multiple counties all across the nation. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe.